Hey, what is up, fearless people? Uh, I have another thing for you which I wanted to share with you uh, on this fine morning. And this one is a tool which I just cannot live without. Um, one of the hardest parts about sort of running a small business is making sure that when you release a piece of content or a bit of data comes in or out of your business or um, like there's just so many different apps and tools which we use these days, some of which I've talked about um, earlier on in this series. And there is absolutely one tool which I just could not live without in my business, which is why I wanted to drop it into the series and tell you all about it. So I'm just gonna flick across onto my other monitor. And that tool uh, that I mentioned that I wanted to talk to you about is Zapier or Zapier. I know people just um, talk about it or call it different things. So, um, so uh, yeah, so I, I love using Zapier. Uh, one of the cool things is, so with Zapier, it's, it's integrated with tons and tons of different um, apps, basically, like thousands of different apps. So if you're using Facebook or Acuity or Calendly or, or Google Apps or Office 365 or GetResponse or ActiveCampaign or any of these like buzzwordy type app software solutions that are out there, um, it's more than likely they're in um, they're, they're already integrated with Zapier. So what I thought I would do is rather than try and explain to you exactly what Zapier is, I thought that I would actually show you some of the zaps which I've set up, um, which help to save me an awful lot of time um, uh, overall in my business. And um, basically, for those of you who don't know what Zapier is, you may have also heard of IFTTT, If This Then That. Uh, it's very similar to Zapier, and there are a couple of others um, out there which are like it as well. Um, so essentially, these are what we call micro-tasking tools. So what, what it's saying is, if I add somebody's details in uh, zero, then also um, add their email address into MailChimp, for example. Or if somebody signs up to my lead form on Facebook, then automatically add them or, or send them an email and add them into Insightly, which is the CRM tool which I use. Okay, so you can see I've got a number of different zaps set up here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you a couple of like the really cool ones. So recently, um, Facebook allowed you to, um, uh, allowed Zapier to connect to their custom audience tool. So what I've actually got is, so if I get a new, let's say for example, I get a new diagnostic call booked. Uh, let's, let's go with this one first. So that's if, if so if somebody books a strategy session or consultation with me using Acuity, which I talked about earlier on in this series, uh, go and check it out if you haven't seen it already, then add them as a contact in Insightly, which is my CRM, also create an organization for them, then add an opportunity for them. So I don't know about you, but um, if I didn't have a CRM tool like Insightly, and I might do another little uh, a video about Insightly just on its own right, but if I didn't have a tool managing prospects information as it comes into my business, I'd forget about it. I'd wake up in like a cold sweat in, you know, six months time thinking, oh my goodness, I never called Dave back. Why didn't I call Dave back? So what it does is when, when um, you know, if Dave wanted a proposal or something like that, so we book Dave in for a consultation, add him as a contact, add his organization, and we add it as an opportunity into Insightly, my CRM. And so I then have a list of opportunities, which I can then kind of track through the various stages of my sequence, my, my enrollment sequence. So where I do things like follow-up calls and uh, follow-up emails, I send them a gift. Um, uh, I've got a load of email templates and things like that set up in Insightly so that if a client says, yes, I wanna go with it, I push a button, we get the enrollment sorted out. So this automates like a ton of different stuff. So they booked on, add them, in, uh, add them into my CRM platform. Uh, we'll also add them as a subscriber into MailChimp and if they've got a, um, a UK um, uh, telephone number, I'll also add them to text magic. Don't often send out SMS marketing. Um, if at all, but I figured at some point I might like to, so I add them into text magic and uh, probably somewhere in here I'll tag them as well as a as a consultation uh, international. We can't actually tag in, in, in here. Oh no, there we go. So we add them into the consultations list and if I were to go into um, text magic, I'll have a, somewhere in here there'll be a list called consultations. So it means that anybody who's then had a consultation with me between sort of specific time periods, I could send them a little text message if I wanted to. So we've got contacts here and then, hopefully, there we go. Uh, oh, diagnostic course. So it actually goes into diagnostic course. I probably need to update that one. Uh, knocking on the door, diagnostic course. There we go. Should have updated that. So, dunk, there we go. Perfect. 
can just uh, resend that. So, so it'll automatically add them into there. And that stayed on, which is great. Uh, so that's one of the zaps which I use. So another one, I mentioned about Facebook custom audiences. So now, if, um, if uh, well actually before I come on to that, so another way that I also get leads through is I give away free copies of my book. So uh, where is it? TYS promo request, here we go. So take TYS is obviously take your shot. So when there's a new entry in type form, um, and you can choose, uh, say, type form, new, new entry, as it's linked to my account, take your shot, promo copy request, and then we get some, some data out of it. There'll be some sample data in there where somebody's um, asked for a copy of the paperback. So we're going to add them as a lead into my CRM. We're also going to add them uh, as a subscriber into MailChimp as well. So I get this email through and it automatically adds their details into here. One of the things that I probably should also do, in fact, I think when it goes into Insightly as a lead, so, do, 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 do. there we go, so Facebook custom audience from Insightly lead. So, so what happened there is, so somebody will have requested a, a book from me in type form, it will have added it into Insightly as a lead, and then in this one, whenever we add a new lead in Insightly, I then want to add their email to a custom audience in Facebook custom audiences, which means if I was to run some ads, I could retarget uh, the custom audience which I've got set up. Otherwise, what I'd have to do is, like, I'd have to grab bits of data and email addresses from all sorts of different places and then upload them as a into the custom audience that I've set up in Facebook. And it becomes clunky, whereas this way it's just totally automated. Um, and there's a ton of other cool stuff which you can do here. So um, if I, uh, whenever I upload a new blog article, it automatically sucks in the RSS feed, uh, creates a bit link, uploads the story into Medium as an unpublished article, and then it creates a post on Facebook pages. On my Facebook page, it uh, sends out a tweet, and it also updates LinkedIn as well. Now, the, the formatting of these isn't great, I'll be honest, but at least it means that whenever I upload a blog article, there is some kind of activity going on in my social media channels. It just keeps it updated, and I've done the same for my podcast and my YouTube channel as well. So if I upload a blog post, a podcast, or a video, it automatically sends out those various different bits of um, uh, content across social media, which is pretty cool. And there's a, there's a ton of other stuff which I've kind of got set up in here. Now, I haven't even scratched the surface of this. Um, like I said, one of the other cool things which you can do, now have I got it set up? Yeah, so is it that one? Is it this one? First name, last name, blah, blah, blah. Cool. So one of the things which I've, I've also got set up, so I, when I was running lead ads in Facebook Ads Manager, um, it wouldn't it wouldn't send you an email when somebody um, signed up as a lead. So again, you can do this using Zappy. You just say, right, whenever somebody submits a new lead, um, then I'm going to grab their first name, last name, up, upload their data into MailChimp, send out an email. Uh, that's GDPR compliant, obviously. Um, I send out an email, formatted email, so it looks like it comes from me, which um, is amazing, uh, with a link to um, the download form. Um, uh, to, to sorry to the download link and then also I add them as a contact and create a lead in Insightly which is pretty cool so I've got all of this information sort of flowing around a lot of it hinges around Insightly um, and things like that but basically it's a way of just making sure that I'm capturing data and making sure that it's going into all of the various different um, sort of pieces of my jigsaw puzzle that I've kind of set up um, it's a really neat way of um, uh, organizing your data and not dropping the ball so um, I would go and check out um, Zapier. It's it's well worth um, upgrading to the premium version, which isn't terribly expensive. It's only about £10 a month. Um, but the amount of time which this has saved me, if you think about it, all of those different bits of data, moving it around and uploading various different articles, I mean, that would be hours of my time. I'd say this probably saves me about 20 to 40 hours a month of time, depending on how busy the business is. Um, so, yeah, so if you found that helpful... Um, that, that's kind of like my job done. Um, I'll pop a link in to, to Zapier so you can go and um, try it out and download it. Um, try out a couple of different zaps and things like that. Have a look at which bits of software you're using um, and make sure you get it uploaded um, uh, into Zapier and save yourself a ton of time and make yourself a ton of money, hopefully. <laughs>